Shortcut Composer 1.3 is out. In case you're new to the topic, it's my free Krita plugin, which adds various complex keyboard shortcuts. The most notable being PyMenus that grant faster access to Krita properties like tools or brushes. This release brings multiple quality of life improvements, as well as a new brush management system and the ability to store used brushes in Krita documents. Two small convenience changes were made to PyMenu settings. Available values can now be filtered by typing some text in the box below. This should be especially useful for properties like blending modes that contain many hard to distinguish labels. Middle mouse button now activates kinetic scrolling, which makes it easier to scroll available labels with a graphics tablet. When selecting a preset tag to display, the Pi updates automatically, so you no longer need to close and reopen it to apply the changes. Custom order for every tag is now remembered to prevent it from being lost when changed. This order is now also shared between all the Pi's, so you only need to organize them once and no data will be lost when you switch between tags. Those were improvements extending the existing brush management system, but this release introduces a new way to pick brushes to display. The button next to the tag list switches between the tag mode and the newly added manual mode. When entering the manual mode, the connection with the selected tag breaks and it will no longer be tracked. It won't update when you add or remove presets to the tag from the preset docker. But with no tag connection, it becomes possible to add and remove presets by drag and drop operations. Just like in any other Pi. One thing you should be aware of, switching from tag to manual is safe as it won't affect brush in the Pi, but doing so another way around results in them being replaced with the ones from the tag. So, if you're not careful, you can delete your custom order that way. But you can use it to your advantage. Switching to the tag mode temporarily allows you to make very fast changes to the selected pies. If you no longer need brushes from the manual mode, you can switch to tag, quickly pick one, and go back to manual mode in which you can make changes to it. But why would you want to use this workflow? Well, let me introduce the real reason behind all those changes. This update brings a new action called Pick Local Brush Presets. It's a new Pi that's capable of displaying a different set of brushes for every Quita document. Every time you open a new document, this Pi starts empty. You can add a few brushes that you intend to use in this new artwork. Just don't overthink it at this point. You can revisit it at any time to add or remove brushes as you go and find out what brushes you use the most. But when you jump to another document, those presets may no longer be relevant. So the Pi empties itself and you can once again pick those that you intend to use. Selected brushes are saved in the Krita document, so you don't need to worry about losing them. The Pi should always display the correct set of brushes from the active document. This feature works by embedding preset names in the Krita document file, so they will still be there after you close the document, Krita or your computer. You could also open it on another computer or share with your colleagues, but keep in mind that these are only the preset names that are stored, and not the presets themselves. So for this to work, both computers need to have the same bundles installed. Alright, uh, this feature has multiple use cases for different workflows, but it would be a pity to restrict it only to this action. Yes, Pick Local Brush Presets is the only one with this behavior by default, but you can configure any other Pi menu to act like that using the new Save Location tab. Even Pies that don't hold brush presets. Two buttons on the bottom of this tab give some other convenience features. First one allows you to change the default set of values used when you open a new document. Just organize the Pi and click the button to save current order as a new default. The second button, on the other hand, resets the Pi to the default set of values. Those buttons make the most sense in local mode, but they do work in the global mode too. If you're afraid of losing your custom brush order as you switch to the tag mode, you can save it as a new default to be able to bring it back easily. And yeah, that's basically it for this release. Apart from the new features, I simplified the plugin web page started work on user manual, and made some optimizations. Now you should notice a better performance when pies with many values are being edited. 
I hope you like those new features and see you in the next release.